Hey, what's up, YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you guys how to make a TV remote in Minecraft. This is a statue version, if you can tell. And this is like the biggest TV controller that I've made so far. Now, this is one of my electronics and real life playlist tutorials that I will be doing from now on. Now, uh, this is actually the second um, me created. Most people were created by other people. For example, Mr. Currentfish and Magma Musa. When I mean Magma Musa, I mean the console. Which I can stop with TNT. It's pretty simple. Anyway. So, before we actually start this video, um, please do remember to check out the link provided down below. Oh, and by the way, I made a little bit of adjustments here with us actually creating <coughs> The sticker, which is supposed to be the Intel sticker, that I forgot to show you guys yesterday. Alright, that's one of the other things that I've just added. Anyway, so let's actually make this TV remote. To make this TV remote, here's what you're going to need. You're going to need some black wool, some white wool, and some red wool. So once you've got this materials, and once you figure out you want to make it, I'll be making it right here. We're going to start off by placing five black wool. That's one, two, three, four, five. And another row of five directly on top of those five black wool. Extend yours out by one. I've actually extended it out by two. That's not what we want. The point you saw that should look like this. Perfect. Now, what we actually want to do is we just want to place a black wool on this very left part of the Tiba remote. Place a white. Then, actually two white. Then finish a row with your awesome black wool. Give me some very similar. Um, let's actually make that little change right there. So that way it's mostly in the center, like this. It can be in the center if this was been moved over. Um, like that, but we're going to do that right now. Just saying. Alright, we want to come behind what we have just created. And we want to take these two blocks right here, as well as the other side. And we want to extend them back each by 20. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. <sighs> it's actually supposed to be 19, guys. So, so extend yours out by 19. And then you could connect them together. Right. So we're essentially starting at the back. And then working our way to the front. So, um. And we don't want to exactly fill this in in the center because we're going to be doing some stuff with it. Just saying. So, um, okay, so you want to kind of have something that should look like this by now. That's perfect. We have to do something else though. Um, at the like one block away from the front, you want to place a black wall. Um, the kind of something that should look like this. If you can see carefully. Good. Once you got that taken care of, we now want to make the buttons that are going to go on the remote control. So, to do this, we want to start off by doing one black wool, then I could say, um, or is it supposed to be doing four? Um, yeah. It's actually supposed to be four. So, draw your rope by using four white wool, then place a blue. <sighs> then, front of that, do three rows of black. That's one, two, and. Well, I'm doing it the other way, but you should have three rows filled in after that. Good. Once you got that taken care of, we now want to make our buttons essentially. And before we actually start working on the buttons, 
we want to make a power button with I'm actually making a Olivia um Olivia TV remote. And this is what essentially this what stuff is. But that's not the only way we're gonna be using to. Um so here's what we want to do. We want to place a red wolf directly above this this block before it reaches the corner. So essentially in the corner, just place a red wolf. Then you can fill in this part um, until it reaches down here. Then we can have a wet wolf like that. And essentially what you want to do is that you want to skip buttons, you want to essentially skip leave the gap of one and place buttons down like this. Right. However though, once you get to the uh, once you've done three of these wet wolves, you want to get rid of this fourth one because it doesn't need to be there. So because that's like a big gap essentially. So you want to have something that should look like that. For the um, next off, you want to leave a gap of one in place some some what? So kind of want to have something that should look like this, but here's what we actually want to do. So um, you can see here um. So that is what you want to have for your next row. Um, leave a gap of one between the bottom of the remote control and the white wall, and then a gap of one, gap of one, place two wool, leave a gap of two, place a white wall, leave a gap of one, place the one. Same. For the next row, we want to do this sequence of blocks. Um, if you can see what I'm doing here, so. This is kind of what you want to have for this next row. But, here's one thing. Um, right, so, you kind of want to have something that should look like this. But, we have to make a couple of changes real quick. Before we can actually declare that this thing is proper. We essentially want to make sure that each one of these what walls actually match. So you want to make sure that they exactly match. If they do not, you are probably doing it wrong. So that's actually true. So uh could Um, yeah, just like make it until where it matches exactly. So, for example, on this top row, we want to actually have some like this. So, you can destroy these two blocks for a second. And then we actually um, want this, but we'll have to be back here. So just make it until where it is good to you. It may take a little bit of trial and error to actually get it done because you can definitely tell this is going to have to be quite a lot of changes to do. So just make it until you feel it's okay is essentially what I want. And yes, like I said, um, it's going to take a lot of trial and error to actually get it looking good. So I'll show you here in just one moment when I get that here. Okay, there we go. So that's kind of similar to what you want to have. But here's my thing. Um, so. Yeah. It's 
<laughs> Alright, that's kind of what you want. Like this. If you can see what I'm doing. Alright, so. And believe it or not, this brain is actually very annoying. <laughs> So this is trying to make me not work as much as it should be, so. Anyway, so in a moment, I will show you what this thing should look like. Alright. And like I said, it will take a little bit. Because it can be any way that you want it, but, but this is actually my design, so. Alright guys, that is pretty much how I can get to. Once you've figured out your design, uh, you could just fill your thing in with your white bolt, or black, excuse me. Alright, so. Just fill your thing in with wet wool. Alright, so. <clears throat> but like I said, you can have any design that you want, but this is my design, so. And once we get rid of this stupid rain, which ruins people's day. Anyway, so this is what you exactly want to have, like this. And that, ladies and gentlemen, once you've figured out your button design and stuff like that, you, your TV remote is actually 100% fully completed from now. So, if we take a look, um, it does look very similar to the other design that I have made right here. But essentially, you can make your own button designs. It doesn't really matter. Just saying. So. But I know, this will not look very similar to my Olivia TV remote. Just saying. Anyway, that's probably the closest I could get to. So, anyway, before I actually end this video, please do remember to check out the um, playlist link down below. My real life playlist where I shall show you a lot of crazy stuff. You know that? I may probably show you how to make any electron that you guys want me to make. Just saying. So. <laughs> I can make anything that I want. Just in Minecraft, you can make anything that you want. That's my thing, but I guess. Anyway, please do remember to subscribe to my channel for more incredibly awesome pixel arts and tutorials every single day. Now, one disclaimer, but I know there's been a lot of negative comments on my Yin Yang banner. If you do decide to comment on the Yin Yang banner tutorial that I have made two months ago, do not try to make the most negative possible, okay? Just saying. I know, that is not the best thing ever. Just saying. Anyway, please do remember to give this thing a like. Alright, not a dislike, a like, thumbs up. And let me know in the comment section down below what real life thing or anything that relates to Minecraft that I shall make next. Also, ask me a question for my Q&A on Wednesday, October 19th. Please make sure that you ask me a question before Wednesday. I will not take any um, questions before, or excuse me, after Wednesday. Just saying. I know, I've got around seven questions so far, six to seven, and that's actually a good roll. Thank you very much. Cuba Thomas Swanson, who suggested all those comments um, and questions. Thank you very much. Anyway, that's all I've got here today. I will see you guys next time in another pixel art tutorial. Or at least another tutorial.